grass is killing me. Move! All right, back to it. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Archer. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hanks. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. I think I see some movement in the distance. Quick now, Arthur. Everyone into position. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. 
It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Vano won't be happy about this! Take time first, son! I'm not gonna finish it now! We will kill you all, if that's what it takes! There's another patrol in the rear! Looks like we gotta fight! Watch your heads! Surrender now! You pushed us to this! I'll kill you all! Look out! They're coming up! Fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. I have a bad feeling about this. We said nobody would be killed. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Sending riders from the fort, we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... 
We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Yep. Left here! Into the trees! Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. Oh, what's wrong? I'll put you in the This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave, now! What about Eagle Flies? We gotta go, Arthur, come on! We need to ride hard, stay with me! Yep. Left here, into the trees! Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot, try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose them down here. I'm gonna count out your eyes. Shit! I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. 
This is it! This... Well... Horser... Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed... They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend, here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight... Um... This is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is he? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. 
Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Eternity waits for us all. Never did no right by me. Not since I was six. Well, glad you're feeling so good about all this. Hey, he brought this on his damn self. Where my fault this brain got handled by damn demons. God damn hillbillies. Girl. Idiot.
Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge... We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. <laughs> Stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot. Lower it from there. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Plant this stuff. I need some help down here. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay.
Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. Need to get this finished soon, Arthur. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Shit! I think I hear something coming, Arthur! Arthur, get up here quick! Yeah, I'm on my way! Faster, buddy, come on! Shit! Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! It's right on! Ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here, risking our necks and for what, exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me, and we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! 
Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. <sighs> he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. 
I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's Fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well... I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you can get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way... It is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Rosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. should be 
fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find our way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Take to the wall. Careful. There's a guard up there. He's moving. Come on. need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. You deal with him. All right. Okay, let's move. Another two ahead. One each, same as before. All right, let's go. Distract them. 
Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Huh. Whoa, whoa. No. I'm fine, I'm fine. Damn it! I'll we'll have to shoot our way out. Come on! I hit the 
Hold them off. I'll get Eagle Flies through the canoes. Get in there. Oh, thank you, friend. Quick! Get in the other canoe and let's go, Arthur! Let's get down river as quick as we can. They'll pay for this. They'll wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first, my friend. It's like Dutch said. They only have power when you allow them to have Well, Dutch says a lot of things. This is some swell. Watch yourself. The last thing we need is one of us going in. Believe me, that ain't my plan. Watch out for the current. Damn it. We got more of them on the riverbank. Okay, Arthur. Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. My friend, let me take you back to your father. Hmm? Thank you. No much. Yeah! <laughs> 